What's going on everyone? Gilman with Level Alti Stocks back with our daily Tesla update video where we take a look at how Tesla stock traded today, key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future, and based on that, what we think Tesla stock could do. So real quick, if you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and comment down below what your thoughts on Tesla are, and I'd love to chat with you guys down there. So let me hit record. And we will get right into it. So as we could see, um, another small red day for Tesla. We're down about $6.72 on the day. Um, down another $6 in the after hours, putting us at about you know 1% during the day, about another percent in the after hours. So not a great day for Tesla, but let's take a look at what happened in the overall markets. So NASDAQ was up. Um, about 0.56% with a steep drop at the end. Um, Dow Jones was down about 453 points and the S&P was down about 0.52% as well. It was red on the day, then became green on the day, and then with this crazy fall at the uh, like pretty much last 10 minutes on the day, it became red again, right? So stick, compared to all that, Tesla was relatively weak. Um, let's take a look at how we traded. So yesterday, you know, we saw a little bit of weakness in the after hours. Um, trading in the you know mid to high sixes and then we gapped up a little um, to kind of get right back to where we were when I made the video yesterday and it was clear that we were selling off for a little bit but then we started to push up right so if you see here we came down bounced off of our 670 level and made a really strong push towards the 700 um, but you know right pretty much at open we bounced off this second level 694 is pushed up couldn't quite sustain the 698 level sold off and then we kept falling 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 fell below the 678 fell below 672 kind of bounced here at 670 pushed up but then came right back down and then bounced pretty close to our 658 level 658.69 it was about a dollar off again try to push up couldn't but and then came right back down and then we pushed up, bounced off view app, tried to break into our 694 level again. Um, but as you can see, right, we failed at doing that right back down to 670 level. Bounce, bounce, push up, bounce, bounce, push. And then I thought we were going to close strong, right? Um, this is something that I was looking at for, you know, a couple different stocks. I thought we were going to close strong, right? Bounce off 678, make a push towards 694. And then we got a pretty um, ugly sell off to end the day. Again, I showed you guys that that was all across NASDAQ, S&P, Dow. Um, so not a great way to end the week, not a great way to end a day, um, especially, you know, a, a crazy week like this week. So now we're Again, below the 660 uh, or 670 level, trying to push up against it. Um, so we'll see how that goes going into next week. One thing that I showed you guys yesterday with the S&P 500 on the daily chart was that we were in between the 34 and the 55 EMA, right? So yesterday's video, I said, hey, um, I do think we have a little bit of run room down, said that in yesterday's video. And sure enough, you know, today we did bounce off of the 55 EMA. Um, the reason I'm looking at that, you guys, is because if we take a look here, um, other than the times where we clearly just broke down, if we've taken a pullback, right, we've bounced off the 34 EMA, bounced off the 34 EMA. If we don't get the 34 EMA, then we've bounced perfectly here off of the 55 EMA. Um, and so that's what I was, you know, kind of watching to see if, hey, if we go back up, bounce off the 34, or do we go all the way down to 55? And it looks like we went all the way down to 55. So now the question becomes, is it gonna be like this instance in late January where we bounced and the next day started to push up? Or are we talking more of a, uh, you know, instance back here where we, uh, you know, bounced and then kept going the next day, even though we closed above that level, right? So that's what I'm looking at you guys here, you right, we closed above it had a little bit of a red day and then broke down below the 89 EMA. So all that to say, still closely watching the S&P 500 to see how the market is doing, not necessarily convinced that the weakness is done, especially considering how we ended the day. So long term, I think Tesla goes up from here, but short term, um, you know, the overall market isn't looking too wonderful. Now, some things that I wanna point out are our levels of support, levels of resistance. So you guys know, we just talked about a couple, right? The 672 and the 670 um, that we're now below. If we stay below that, then the next level of support would be the 658, which is where we got a perfect bounce today. 
Um, then we've got 641 after that, and then we've got 614 after those two. So again, depending on whether we open above or below, uh, kind of some of these 672, 670 levels will determine if we see a bounce there. If we don't see a bounce there, then our first level of bounce would be 658 and 641 is next. On the push up, we've got the 678, and then 694, and then the 698 slash 700 level that we try to break above today, but could quite keep it. If we can get into the 700s, next uh, level to push up would be the 700s. Now, one thing that I wanna show you guys is the um, indicator. So let me get rid of the drawings here for just a second. As you could see, you guys, we are doing a pretty good job of closing above the 89 EMA. Um, you know, as you could see here, even on that day, um, I think it was Tuesday, um, where we went really far down to all the way to 619. Um, we rallied and closed above that level. Tuesday or Wednesday, we were above that level. Thursday, we went down but didn't close below the 89 EMA. And even on a weekday like today, where we saw a little bit of a sell off in the second half of the day, we are staying above that 89 EMA. So that's a really, really good level of support to watch, which is at 673.65 right now. So technically, we're below that in the after hours, but we did close above it. So looking to see if come Monday, um, we can, you know, get above that level again and hopefully close above that level in the 673. I think that, you know, uh, Tesla does have a lot of potential and look it's getting to, uh, you know pretty close to the oversold side I think yesterday I accidentally said overbought in the Tesla video it's oversold right anything below 30 is considered oversold uh, so it's getting super close to there and I do think that there's a lot of potential ahead I mean if you take a look at where we were um, you know few weeks ago in the 900s um, and then if you also take a look at you know how fast it went up and how fast it came down right Tesla is definitely volatile um, and it offers a lot of opportunities um, you know for, for swings both ways so if you um, you know are interested in, in that right there's you could definitely take advantage of some of the volatility especially the levels that I have drawn on the chart right I use those on a daily basis um, well not on a daily basis but uh, pretty often to you know take a day trade here or there on the up or down depending on you know what the strength and momentum is looking like and whether it's below view up above view up hitting level or bouncing off of a level so you know, definitely keep that in mind. But also, you know, again, we've got a long way to climb. Um, I think that, you know, this this next week is gonna be really crucial in seeing if we see a bounce. Because if we start to go below the 89 exponential moving average, that's when I think things can get kind of ugly um, before we start to turn around, as well as with the S&P 500, right? If we break that 89 EMA, we do have another couple, like maybe three, 4% drop uh, to the 89 EMA. So we'll see how that goes. As always, I'll keep you guys posted. Hope you guys had an all right trading week. It was red for me um, four out of the five days. So not a great trading week, but that's okay. We'll bounce back next week, hopefully, and we'll bounce back stronger. So I'll keep you guys posted as always. Hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time.